In this video, I'm going to show you how to assess an injury at the scene using a primary survey and show you how to ask for help when appropriate. The aim of the primary survey is to recognise and manage any life-threatening injury or illness before going on to your secondary survey. As you'll discover, there are quite a few acronyms in this video. Don't worry if you can't remember them all at first. Over time, they will become very familiar. The first one is Doctors ABC. We use Doctors ABC to remember the stages of the primary survey. The first stage is D for danger. Your first priority is to make sure it's safe for you and others to go onto the pitch. Uh. Ref, I'm just going on to check the player. In this instance, the first aider does not suspect a head or neck injury. And as a first aider, make sure you are always wearing gloves and a high visibility vest. The next stage in Doctors ABC is R for response. We use the AVPU scale to assess response. A on AVPU means a casualty has their eyes open and they are alert. V means they respond to your voice but may not be fully coherent. P means they respond to a pain stimulus and U means they are unresponsive. Which level of the AVPU scale do you think this player is on? Hi, my name's Richard, Hi. I'm the first aider. Hi. The player is obviously alert, even though she is in a bit of pain. The next stage in our Doctors ABC primary survey is S. S is for shout. In this scenario, the first aider does not shout, but be open to the fact that you may have a situation where you need help. Do you need any help? I'm, I'm OK at the moment, thank you. If so, ask for it. Next is A for airway. In this situation, the player is talking in a clear voice and therefore has a clear airway. B for breathing is the next stage of our primary survey. In this situation, they are talking, therefore able to breathe. Next is C for circulation or CPR. Here you should look for any external bleeding as well as any signs that might indicate a problem with circulation. Also make a note of their appearance because if they are pale and clammy, they might be in shock. The first aider has now completed the primary survey using Doctors ABC. He's found the player to be alert with no airway, breathing or circulation problem at this time. This means that the first aider can now complete the secondary survey. Remember, a casualty can deteriorate as well as improve, so be mindful that you should repeat the primary survey. So in summary, we've discussed how to assess the scene for danger, and how to use Doctors ABC to complete a primary survey to ensure the player has no immediate life or limb threatening injury. Because the player has neither of these, we can now move on to the secondary survey.